This video is to demonstrate how to reprogram your gain spin module using firmware that was generated by the online SDK builder on Gainspan's website. Prior to this video, if you will need a zip file that was created by Gainspan's online SDK builder that uh, you can download from their website after it's been generated. I have a Gainspan GS2011 evaluation board with default serial to Wi-Fi firmware and I plugged it into my machine and I just wanted to verify the COM port that is created so it's on COM10 and I will launch TerraTerm just to demonstrate that the module is working um, over that COM port and it is at baud rate 9600. To check the current firmware version and the bootloader and, and uh, the build version you can do a command called AT plus VER equals question mark question mark. So here it just shows the, uh, the current version that's on the, my module now. I'm showing you this because I'm going to change the firmware to use 115200 baud rate that I generated off the Gainspan website. So let me go ahead and disconnect here and close this terminal. So after you've generated that zip file, um, it's best to take that zip file and put it in your C drive. Uh, these are two firmware versions that I have generated be, um, prior. This one's a default evaluation package using serial to Wi-Fi, uh, TLS, and so forth, but the baud right here is 9600 which I just demonstrated. I'm going to be upgrading the module to use the UART at 115200. And the reason why you want to put it on the C drive is so uh, you can reduce the file name paths uh, and uh, you might run into problems if, you, if uh, the tool is heavily embedded in a long directory or file path name. So I will go into the UART custom package. Again, this is what I was what was generated on uh, on the web on the SDK builder website, and you'll see the folder here. There is a Gainspan programming tool. Within the Gainspan programming tool, there's a different uh, executables. This is the actual Flash programmer tool. But the nice thing is there's actually a DOS batch file. Um, the DOS batch file is actually a really easy tool. And probably the easiest way to go about programming your module or, or in my opinion one of the easiest ways. So to prep the uh, batch file uh, you will need to edit this file and also drop the firmware images or binary files within the same directory. So going back uh, to the extracted uh, zip directory there's a folder for firmware. These are the two files that you are uh, going to program uh, the module with. So I'm actually going to copy these files and then also drop them into the DOS file folder. And the reason for this is because when the batch file runs um, there's, it's just easier to uh, put the firmware in the uh, same directory as the batch file and the programming tool so that you don't have to type the whole file path name. Once we copy the uh, firmware or binary files into the DOS folder, DOS files folder, you'll actually need to edit the actual batch file. So to point it to the two binary images and their name. So I'm going to click edit. And in notepad, you will scroll down until you see this single image portion. Here you will see the actual names of the binary files. So this is the image file and this is a super block file. Both of these are required to program the module. So what I will do here is just easily um, copy the name files. So it's just much easier for me to do it this way. And uh, 
that way it copies it exactly. All right, so we've got the binary files names embedded into the batch file. So just go ahead and uh, uh, we'll exit here. Save. So it stays in the batch file. Um, I'd like to, I like to run the batch file from a command prompt because if anything goes happen, if anything happens, um, if you just click on it, uh, sometimes a batch file will just close and you can't see some of the error messages. So I already uh, launched the command window and I've actually typed out the path name uh, where we're at, where the batch file is. So I'm in that directory already. So then I will just uh, just type in the batch file name gs slash program underscore dos real image. So let me go ahead and expand this. So now it's asking for the port number. I, I have the evaluation board uh, connected to the laptop already. I know it's COM10. Now what you could do at this point is actually power off the board and put the board into pr program mode. On the evaluation board there is a uh, toggle switch, a red toggle switch that is in that is either in run or program. In order to reprogram the firmware this toggle switch needs to be set to program. On the schematic or on the module this is actually tied to a GPIO and needs to be pulled high um, on your actual design itself. So when you go when you program these modules in your assembly you need to find, you need to pull this pin high so i am actually going to power off the module and then flip the switch to program mode and then power back on again i'm not disconnecting the usb cable because the usb to uart chip is still powered over by the v bus but uh, i'm actually turning off the module via the power switch so i don't lose my com uh, port assigned number so now I'm in program mode and I put COM10. And at this point it actually asks you to do the what we just what I just explained. Put the game span module into program mode and perform a power cycle. So I've already done that, so I'm going to click continue. And right now the program is inspecting to find COM10 uh, to uh, erase the um, module. So right now uh, part one was erasing the firmware. Part two is programming. And if you set the file names correctly, then you will start seeing uh, this progress bar here below. If the file names were not correct or the, the firmware could not find the firmware, it'll come back with an error um, uh, on programming. If you could not can you communicate to your module you would get an error up here on erasing saying request timeout so at this point I'm good to go as the um, firmware is being programmed and for me to evaluate it I will um, reopen the COM port at 115.200 so it just completed I'll press any key to continue so I just exited the program I'm now powering off the module putting the toggle switch back to run mode and power the board back up and hopefully if this was successful I can open that terror term with 115 200 So AT plus VER equals question mark, question mark. All right. So I'm now cha I have changed the baud rate to 115.200 with the uh, Flash Programmer tool. Um, and as you can see here, I've actually gave the binary type name uh, the specific uh, uh, name. Thank you. And I will generate another video that will show how to use the SDK online uh, tool from GameSpan.